Hello students, this is your instructor Abid Jan and uh, this is a tutorial about lecture 13 amino acid properties and consequences of substitution. We need to point our browser to Kim for kids dot com Kim for kids dot com this is a this is an online resource about uh, biochemistry the section we need uh, to study so click on the biochemistry now click on the amino acids this is the general structure of amino acid there are two things in this structure one is inside this green box and one is this this structure shows that in all amino acid there is a central carbon to which four groups are attached the carboxyl group the hydrogen the amino group and the side group another point that this figure is communicating that the carbon skeleton which is present inside the green box this is common to all amino acids and this side group or side chain or R group varies from amino acid to amino acid for example in all amino acid for example in methionine and tryptophan in alanine we will be having the same group and the side group will be different from one amino acid to another amino acid so it is the side chain that varies from amino acid to amino acid and it is this side chain that gives rise to different amino acids this is another colorful representation that three amino acid combined through peptide linkages this is one peptide linkage this is another peptide linkage and these are the side groups so uh, carbon skeleton is common with same shapes rectangle and same color and side groups are different with different shapes and different colors this is the peptide bond established as a result of contribution of amino group from one amino acid and carboxyl group for, uh, from another amino acid same is the case here now click on the 20 amino acids these are 20 standard amino acids non-standard amino acid and standard amino acid all these 20 amino acids you can see they are standard amino acid they take part in protein synthesis non-standard amino acid don't take part in protein synthesis you can see here that the common group in all amino acid central carbon carboxyl amino 
سنٹرل کاربن کاربوکزل امینو سنٹرل کاربن کاربوکزل امینو سائیڈ گروپ ویریز this is a long side chain CH3 side chain this is CH2 CO NH2 side chain this is CH2 COO this is CH2 CH2 COOOH this is CH2 SH so the side group varies now we have some uh, unique amino acids and one of them is the glycine now if you can see this is the central carbon of the glycine its side group is only hydrogen atom and this is the reason that this is the smallest lightest and simplest amino acid of all and another point about its central carbon is that it is only the glycine where the central carbon is not chiral what is a chiral carbon any carbon which is bonded to four different groups that is called chiral chirality so glycine lacks the ability of chirality and its central carbon is a chiral are non chiral because it is not attached to four different groups the two groups are same on the right and left side so this is unique about the glycine and therefore this is a small amino acid so if it is replaced by another amino acid particularly a bulky amino acid with uh, bulkier side group so the consequences will be not in favor of a functional and optimally structural protein the protein will not be able to perform its function normally the function and structure will be severely compromised the next unique amino acids uh, there are two one is cysteine and and other is methionine so the unique about methionine and cysteine is that the side group of both amino acid contain sulfur residue sulfur is here and sulfur is here so these two amino acids are sulfur containing amino acid that is the reason they are unique and uh, whenever there is uh, disulfide uh, bond formation uh, within a polypeptide or between two polypeptides so uh, those uh, disulfide bridging is as a result of these two amino acid cysteine and methionine another unique amino acid is histidine the unique thing about histidine is that its side group is amphoteric 
the side group displays dual behavior it acts as an acid as well as basic under different condition so the side group of the histidine is amphoteric in nature the last unique amino acid is proline and if you can see this is the only amino acid where the side group is making a ring structure with the uh, amino group and this is not uh, if you uh, look this is not NH3 plus or NH2 this is NH so proline is actually not amino acid this is amino acid I M I N O because this is amino group and not an amino acid this is amino acid and therefore this is called secondary amino acid amino acids all other amino acids they are primary and this is not amino acid this is um, this is amino acid and this is secondary secondary amino acid other amino acid are primary amino acid and this is actually not amino acid this is amino acid uh, next to uh, to see codon table amino acid this is the codon table so codon wise uh, there is another property uh, in most of the amino acid that a single amino acid for example phenylalanine it is coded by this codon and this codon phenylalanine is coded by TTT and TTC or suppose leucine is coded by TTA TTG, CTT, CTC, CTA, CTG. But there are two amino acids, only two amino acids, which are coded by a single codon. For example, tryptophan is coded only by TGG, and there is no other codon that can code for tryptophan. So it is always TGG that code for tryptophan, and it is always uh, only. Uh, ATG that code for methionine so for methionine and tryptophan we have only one codon there is another thing which is called degeneracy we say that uh, genetic code is degenerate in nature what actually we mean of it that a single amino acid for example leucine can be coded by more than one codons and this property of the genetic code is called degeneracy a single amino acid can be coded by a set of codon at least two phenylalanine can be coded by TTT TTC serine can be coded by these four codon proline can be coded by these four codon leucine can be coded by these six codon but methionine is coded by only one codon tryptophan is coded by only one codon so tryptophan and methionine they lack the property of degeneracy their codon their genetic code lack the property of degeneracy the codons of other amino acid display the property of degeneracy but the codons for tryptophan and methionine do not display the property of degeneracy uh, this was all for this tutorial stay safe stay curious Allah Hafiz